Yellow Palm by Robert Minhinick. This poem is about the Gulf War and description of Iraq during the conflict. It's a very interesting poem in that we've got a journey described here, walking through Baghdad and the things Robert Minhinick sees described very, very well. It's about really the different perceptions of conflict that people can have. And actually we've got the sort of the irony, which we see we see this irony in other poems in the cluster, but there's the irony of this beautiful place, this place full of history, this place full of culture, and actually the dreadful things that can occur, occur there. The crucial stanza for me with the idea of what this is about and the repeated ideas is actually stanza two. I mean, we've got the Golden Mosque described. Him watching the faithful go to the Golden Mosque. And this idea of the call to prayer and everything that's sacred about prayer. But then there was blood on the walls. This idea, again, that we have beautiful surroundings and terrible things that can happen. There's a huge juxtaposition in this poem as well. And I'm going to link this to the repeated ideas. When we have a little look at stanza five here. We hear, as I, as I made my way down Palestine Street, I saw a cruise missile, a slow and silver caravan on its slow and silver mile, and a beggar child turned up his face and blessed it with a smile. You have a child blessing a cruise missile, a hugely destructive weapon. So he, again, this massive juxtaposition that's there. So tone. It's very strange in that this poem reads in an almost a sing-song kind of way. It sounds almost joyous in terms of it when it's being read, but it's actually a very, very cynical and very, perhaps, harrowing tone because we've got these horrible things described. And very sinister, chilling things. The idea of a child blessing a missile, I still can't really get over that. that that's dreadful. Individual words. Well... There's several here. If we have a look at stanza two, I think this idea of despair that we have, there's a real sense that Minhinik does despair of conflict and the way that it makes people behave and the way it makes people feel. And there's this despair of conflict is sort of shown throughout this whole poem. Alliteration. Not a great deal. We do have little bits and pieces in the third stanza. We've got blind beggars, which could be quite interesting. There are lots of sibilants here, especially in the last stanza. We've got saw their branches sweeter than salams. It's actually the most positive stanza here at the end, sweeter than salams. And this little child's reaching up for these dates for these ideas of the, these dates on the palms and actually should be doing that rather than blessing cruise missiles. So rhyme and rhythm. I said at the beginning that there's a sort of a sing-song feel to this. It's almost a jubilant sort of song rhythm that we have here. But again, there's this huge juxtaposition that what's being described is not sing-song at all. And structure. Six very regular stanzas, and within the stanzas we've got very positive description, and then something sinister at the end. Structurally, there is something sinister at the end of every stanza except the last one, and I think that's absolutely key. This idea that really we've got all these terrible things happening, but amidst this is the yellow palm, this idea the yellow palm, the date tree, which has biblical allusions, really, because the tree fed Jesus in one of the particular passages in the Bible. But we've got this natural, naturally occurring thing in a place where all other things are quite sinister and menacing. OK, thanks very much.